Just a quick one for you guys today. We have the FMS lemur right here and it likes to move it, move it. And there's one significant feature about it that you should know about. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. We are gonna compare it to the other vehicles in this platform, the FCX24. And we're gonna compare it to some other rock racers. And we're gonna do what it's made for, do some jumps. Okay, here it is. So it is two speed, portal, super fast. It likes to get up and go. It is very similar to the Smasher. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the Smasher. Basically, they just changed the body to a cage style body. Oh, there's the lights, pretty bright lights. I don't know how I turned it on. Since it's the same platform as the Smasher and the FCX24 right here, everything, all the upgrades, motor options, gear options are gonna work for it. It has metal gear portals, it has metal gear servo. It does have a servo saver just like the Smasher. So it's kind of a rock racer, but it's kind of in a difficult spot because it is kind of high. They put these big wheels on it. It has lock diffs and it really won't crawl in this configuration. And you, it's basically a, a, a rock basher, rock, uh, rock smasher, but then because it has lock diffs, it's gonna flip over a lot. So, but great approach angle, great departure angle, and good engineering, but it is kind of upgrade ready in my, in my opinion. But the great development advancement in this vehicle, it has damped shocks. If you see all their setup video or their launch video, they didn't have the shocks damped, and I'm like, not that interesting. But now it has damped shocks. Very cool. So that's a huge development for its advancement. This one, I kind of damped the shocks, but you can see it kind of leaks oil in its stock configuration. And this is the Smasher. Smasher would have been awesome, but it doesn't have damped shocks. All right. So what I'm gonna do next is I am gonna show you some size comparison. Uh, this is the Capra. Uh-huh. Right, right. And then this is the, you know what I have? RC four-wheel drive Miller Motorsports. Mm-hmm. It's about as big as the tire, right? <laughs> so look at that little family. Uh-huh. Goldilocks size little size and super scale size all right so what i'm going to do is not really going to crawl uh any good until i modify it because you know it's just high and high cg and whatnot but it can do a little bit with its two-speed transmission but i'm just gonna rally with it outside i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna see what it can do but in the next video i'm gonna modify it i think you know because it's locked diffs, you, these wheels are just too big. Why don't we change that and put some bead locks, some weighted bead locks, and see what can re really do. Because it does, after I'll have great approach angles. Maybe I'll shorten the, uh, I'll definitely lower the, the stance. Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. It's got some potential. But in a stock form, it's a little strange. It's kind of a repackaging. Maybe a good Christmas toy for the little kids. Uh, they don't mind chasing this the, the vehicle as it flips over because it's going to flip over a lot either crawling or jumping but pretty fun little thing and we know the platform is capable and i think it's upgrade ready mm -hmm.